not working. Wait, where, where are you going? Get the light. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, no. What's the matter? Too, uh, too much adventure and excitement? Oh, oh, oh yeah. It's upsetting you, huh? Oh, just not any excitement. You know, puzzles and magazines and videos and me. No, there's nothing boring about you. Now or ever. Madam, um, it's so sweet of you to stay with me. We're back to that, huh? Okay. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> what can we do to pass this night? Dinner and a movie? Ah, too boring. We need some sedentary excitement. Something to get our hearts started and our blood pounding. Too bad we're already divorced. Last time I felt like that, I ended up with WRCW. <laughs> hey. Hey. Are you up? for a high-stakes game of poker? Depends. Just how high are the stakes? Would you be willing to lose your entire fortune in one evening? insisting on me driving you home, so why don't we... Uh... I know, I know. I'll be right up. Give me a minute. All right. Good night, Dixie. Good night. What? Yeah. Well, I guess you better go round up your twinkle-toed date. Brayden is not my date. And I'm sorry about your dates, that they disappeared so mysteriously. It was kind of funny. You haven't seen Liza around, have you? Liza? Yeah. No. Why? Well, she has this... She's, she does... Never mind. It's a long story. Um... I better go catch my ride. Okay. <laughs> you know something? You look real good out there. Real cute. <laughs> How long do you think you can run interference between Tad and every beautiful woman who crosses his path? I don't know. As long as I have to. You know, you shouldn't even be out here dancing without an okay from Dr. Hayward. Well, Brayden, I think what I have is a case of terminal Tad Martinitis. <laughs> and that is a heartache that no pill can cure. Let's see him. Full house. Oh. Borkings. Oh. Yes! <laughs> That's 70 million. We add that to your private jet and your seat on the board at Chandler Enterprises. The, the night isn't over yet. Oh my. No, it isn't. I, I still think you marked this deck. <gasps> oh, you are such a poor loser. I mean, if I keep whipping your rear, however, that's exactly what you will be. Hypothetically speaking, yeah, of course. Nobody whips my rear, hypothetically or not. Although you have come the closest, I will give you that. Oh, you haven't given me anything. If this is taking too long, you know, we can uh, speed things up. We can... Up the ante. You up for that? For you? Always. All or nothing? Well, it depends on what your definition of all is. What exactly are you putting up? Hmm. 
Let's see. In the spirit of competition and uh, fair play, remember that little proposal you made at Thanksgiving about me giving you another chance? Yes, I do. I, I certainly do. Uh, are we speaking hypothetically now or not? Take your best shot and find out. I feel lucky. These are all samples of amniotic fluid so far this month. Like I said, there's not much. We only had one this week. This afternoon, as a matter of fact. Don't worry about it, Kyle. This is an ongoing project. I run my tests, and I will get these back to you immediately. Good. I don't like having them out of the lab. Oh, no, I assure you, I will take the necessary precautions. But you will keep this confidential. Absolutely. OK. Well, the names of the patients are uh, still in the samples. Thank you, Kyle. Obi Liza. Now all I need is a DNA sample of Chandler Adam. So, what do you think? Ooh, I still have the touch. Bye bye. Can I take your coat? I won't be staying that long. Well, how's your mother? Much better, thank you. I'm glad. Won't she even sit down? Liza, I... I just wanted to apologize to you for asking you to leave the hospital this morning. That's okay. I mean, I, I know what an emotional time this is for you. And my mom wanted me to thank you for getting her to the hospital as soon as you did. That's probably what saved her life. I'm just glad that Alfred and I happened to be there. Why did you stop by, Liza? Well, you know how close you and your mother and I are? I just wanted to talk to her. Well, it must have been awfully important for, for you to leave the steam pit and drag Alfred all the way over there at that time of night. It was important to me. Yeah? <sighs> Look, I just found out that you and Jenny were planning on getting married in November as soon as she turned 18. And so you had to run over and, and, and tell my mother this? <sighs> I, I thought it was something that she might like to know. Why? So the two of you could get together and, and think up something new to sabotage our plans? No, of course not. Why would you think that? Well, why else would you go running over to my mother's house at midnight, Liza? I mean, you, you won't stop at, at anything to, to, to break Jenny and me up, will you? Greg, that's not true. Oh, it's true, all right. You know what I don't understand, Liza, is why you just don't give up. I mean, you should know by now that, that nothing can come between Jenny and me. Okay, all right. Maybe subconsciously I thought that your mother could stop it, but it was only in your best interest, Gregory. Oh, please. I am so sick of hearing that. Listen, listen. What happened last night proves beyond a doubt that your own mother cannot even handle the fact that Jenny and you are going to be married. My mother was not attempting what you're implying, Liza. It was an accident. Well, of course she's going to tell you that. Forty pills? I mean, do you honestly believe in your heart that that could be considered an accident? Just shut up, Liza. Listen, it was lucky that Alfred and I happened to stop by. Maybe she's not going to be so lucky next time. There's not going to be a next time. Well, I hope not. But if you really care for your mother, if you really love her, you'll call off this engagement before something worse happens. Jenny! How nice to Hi. see you. How are you? Mm -hmm. Come in, dear. Okay. Oh, no school today? Well, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm just on my lunch hour, and I just was wondering if I could see Dr. Martin just for a minute. Well, honey, he's not here. He's not? No. I, I called the hospital, and they said he was coming home for lunch, no? <laughs> well, he did, but you just missed him by a few minutes. Oh, he's yeah. gone back to the office, honey. You're kidding. Well, I, maybe I could catch him over there, I guess. Well, I'm sure you can. Oh, good. Um, well, 
Do you mind if I run now? Because I don't no, have sweetheart. much time. So if you'll excuse me. All right, dear. I'll talk to you later. There's my phone okay. anyway. All bye right. Bye. I'm, bye bye, dear. Bye. Hello? Dr. Martin's residence. Oh, uh, hi, Brad. How you doing? Charlie? No, Brad. <laughs> it's Tad. Tad? Tad? Oh. Long time no see, huh? Yeah. It's been nice getting to know you.